Hello guys, welcome to another episode of Resident Evil 3. In the last episode, we made our way through the sewers and absolutely beat the crap out of Nemesis, you know, because he had a freaking flamethrower. Uh, so, before you guys say anything, this is a different save file because for some reason the other recording that I had of this episode got deleted. Um, but every other episode from from this point on, this should be the only episode on this different account. All the other episodes, they are on the old account, which episodes 1, 2, and 3 were on. But this one is just different because episode 4 was deleted from my PlayStation, so I had to, you know, re-record it. Alright, so let's go to Kendo's Gun Shot. Got some explosive. Okay, we got the green herb. That's always nice. And we got the barrel for the shotgun. So, well, let's just do this. And I have an M3 shotgun, and it's freaking sick, and I can hold six bullets now, which is kind of nice. Let's go do that. You, my friend, reload with flame rounds. And then we're just going to use you. Kendo? Kendo, you're all right. You're all right to stretch. Sorry, I got a little jumpy there. Didn't know quite what to expect. No shit. Look. We're using the subway to get people out of town. You in? Subway. Well, that's good thinking. He sure is. When we get out, there's gonna be a lot to do. We could use a man of your skill set. Can't you just move to Chicago or something like that? I don't know if that makes sense. Just a, uh, just bad timing is all. Yeah. Look, um, don't worry about me. I'm gonna make other arrangements, okay? You better. You're the best gunsmith around. Oh, no. <laughs> Don't do anything stupid. Oh, that's that's your job, right? <laughs> Take care, Jill. <sighs> Kendo. You sad, sad man. If you're heading to the station, take that service alley out in front of the shop, okay? <laughs> What's sad, for those of you who don't know, is he staying because his daughter is infected with the virus? But he's still just staying back. He's gonna die because he doesn't want to leave his daughter. So, being a good dad. Imagine he's like, oh yeah, let's just leave my freaking dying daughter. That'd be kind of goofy, ah, dude. Ah, uh, joyous. I've been getting better at dodging because of numerous nemesis attempts. Hi, you are not prepared. Oh, he's eating me. I oh, sucked on my head. That, that sounds a little wrong. You just ate my head, bro. You can't do that. Shkabamo. Oh my gosh. Didn't expect you. what I thought. Point blank, pal. Point blank. I know you. He's dead. That's all that matters. Can you open your face, please? Ow, ow, okay, 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 my, my, my health is not good. <sighs> that was dumb. Is there someone in here? Maybe. Raccoon Times, we're just calling. Dear Editor, I'm writing to you because I'm troubled, deeply troubled. Anyone who's a parent knows uh, that Pro Crystal Promenade is the place to take your kids for a trip downtown on Saturdays. And there's no store more popular or harder on a parent's wallet than Toy Uncle. Uh, however, I've noticed that on windy days, the sta big statue above the entrance wobbles like the only thing holding it up is a couple of screws. If the statue's head tumbles loose on a busy day, children will be badly hurt or killed. That's not what's written, but, you know, definitely could be killed. I've complained to the manager three times now, but he just isn't willing to rectify the situation. Are we supposed to wait for a terrible accident to happen before taking action? No, if heads are going to roll, then let it be the manager's. Take that death trap down. Timothy Wet Wiles. 69. That's not good. It's 
explosives. I love explosives. That is all I will say. I do like some good explosives. Huh. <sighs> Raccoon City. What a nice city you could have been. What? It's back? What the frick is that? Rocket launcher? Really? Ugh. Oh my gosh. Hey, luckily that thing can't aim for crap. That poor man doesn't even have any arms. Ah! What's this? Electricity zone. Public use generators provided by Raccoon City's Electrician Guild. Due to the ongoing power outages, this guild, the guild has decided decided to provisionally place a number of electric generators throughout the city. But everyone th is welcome to use them. But remember, these generators are running high voltage currents. If one should be struck or impacted by gunfire, that anyone standing nearby could be electrocuted. You got that? If you see a generator spitting sparks, don't go near it. Do do anything stupid. Safely, safety first, as the saying goes. If we make it through this mess, I'll have plenty of busted generators for sale at bargain prices. Your neighborhood electrician Sam. Fun, 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 fun. Fun for crack. Ooh. Actually, I'm not waiting for him. I am not waiting for him. Splash him! I missed him. Frick, that didn't go as far as I wanted to. Oh, I skipped that. Well, nothing really happened. Sorry, I didn't mean to skip that, guys. Crap, nope! Ah! Frick, frick, frick. Ah! No, my gosh. What do you want? Oh, that's not good. Glad I didn't skip this one. She's probably so down right now. She's like, why? Oh, shoot. That thing's still alive? Who doesn't like some first aid spray? I'm always there for first aid spray. Am I in caution health right now? I'm fine? Then why is she limping like she's not fine? She's in caution health. Strange. If you ask me. Jill, you there? I think I know how to slow that fucker down. How? Back towards the station. And lead him right to you? It's okay. Trust me. I don't think it's okay. But now I'll trust your I'll take your word for it. Boop. Red herb. I had a green herb to go with it. Oh, I want to... No, Jim's Crabs! I wanted to go to Jim's Crabs! Oh, shoot. Nemesis! Oh, they were right! That head can hurt somebody! Out of my way! Uh... Oh crap, I could have gotten crushed by that thing. They weren't wrong, that very much could very destroy a human being. Children could definitely be hurt. Because I almost freaking died. I went the right way, right? Like, I'm going back to the station. I think I, I don't know if I'm going the right way. Cause I, I remember I closed that door and I think it was... Oh shoot, Carlos. Carlos, the fastest man of all of Mexico. No, no, where are you going? Stagla. <laughs> run, Joe, run. What are you doing just sitting there? Oof. Hey, you okay? Yeah. Bro touched her arm and was like, oh. Yeah, that's not gonna kill him. Believe me, if me shooting a bunch of freaking like, grenades didn't kill him, like launchers and stuff, ain't no way. Come on, let's get out of here. Anything in here? <sighs> Damn it, that's the point, guys. It's fine, it's fine. Just move, move. Oh, Carlos! Carlos? 
I know we didn't get off to a great start. Thanks for the save. Hey, you saved my ass first. You're a hell of a lot braver than me. Kill, dude. Kill. Well, what matters is that we can get everyone out of the city now. No, we can't. Yeah. Uh, you'll be safe. You'll be surprised what that can and can't. What can be safe. What about you? Uh, from what the sound of it, safe. I won't be catching the train. Why not? No, there'll be new orders. If it means I can help save the city, it's fine by me. Cowboy front page, the cannibal murders, a <laughs> complete digest. In the gray of the morning of September 25th, a frantic caller telephoned the RPD to report an assault that a man described as disheveled like a vagrant. Vagrant. I don't really know how to say that. A man okay, uh, was attacking a pastor by north of the Lambs Museum of Art. The responding officers discovered the mutilated corpse of a woman by some dumpsters nearby. Dozens of bike bite marks covered her body, and she had been dismembered, suggesting that she had been eaten. The third known incident of this kind occurred in Raccoon City this month. So who done it? Who's been watching on Man Steak? We are here at News Comet have a gnawing feeling. Uh, the so-called cannibal disease patients Spencer Memorial has been providing free treatments for since August might not be settling just for ca the cafeteria food. Uh, our reporters have infiltrated Spencer Memorial, asked the tough questions, and come back with horror stories that will make your stomach royal. Turn the page for the scoop. Yeah, I don't really want to learn about cannibalism right now. I think I'm good. I'm kind of chill, you know, I feel like that's fine. Oh, wait, the year's top films, Freak Cinema. I want to check that out. Traditional, oh, dude, I love Japanese food. Those two posters, man, they turned me on, it's great. Oh, it's Mihail. Good work, your reputation is well deserved. Get inside, the subway's about to leave. Carlos, Tyrell, you have your orders. You need to go back out into the city and find Nathaniel Bart. This isn't the last ride out of town, right? Do not worry. Once the civilians are safe, the train will be back. It's all right. You're going ahead. But I'm not going to die on you and leave you in a cold, cruel, Carlosless world. Sure, man. Sure. Okay. You'll need to find this scientist. His vaccine research could save us all. You see? You're learning. Hello. Your life that matters is your own. Good luck. Let's go. Why is every single person in this game sweaty? Like, now that I think about it. Like, if you look at any single person, they're all, like, sweaty for some reason. That's, like, weird. Like, they would not like that in Resident Evil 2. Everyone looked, like, semi-normal. All right, September 29th, 2-11. Subway... So hey, yeah, really subway car. So pushy, like, part of still alive, do you? I have it on good authority. Why are also question why are half of the UBCS Russian? There's no way he can care about teammates. Funny how brainless zombies can ambush a platoon like that. Funny the gate was locked. Don't you think? The lo the gate was locked. What are you talking about? Oh shoot! <clears throat> Nikolai's walking back. Cause of course he is. He's still alive. How is this fucker not dead yet? Just know they're gone. Come, he's swept. <clears throat> Wait, no. Nikolai, what are you doing? It's no, Nikolai, dang it! No, Nikolai. Nikolai! Bro! <clears throat> no, 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 Mihail! Me, I'll. No. No. Me, I'll. Wrecking police department. Oh my gosh, it's the RPD. Wow. Subway's got to be clear of the city by now. Along with your hot date. Nah, but she's not like that. She's not like anybody. Ah. Carlos, must say, I can't blame you. I mean, she's a video game character, obviously. Much pictures on a screen, so I can't entirely say I agree with you, but, like, you know, you do you, man. All right. Keep your head screwed on, Romeo. 
This is the police station. Ah, so now we're at the police station. Oh, sweet. I get an AR too? Woo! It's kind of dope. Alright, so guys, uh, I'd like to thank you for watching this episode. Uh, if you enjoyed, please comment like it's, you know, not, I guess comment if you enjoyed, I guess. But like and subscribe, you know. Uh, and I will, guys, hopefully see you in the next episode. Later, gamers.